It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's weekly Torah lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Re'e. The question of the week is, how can we kosher our animal soul? So in this week's Torah portion, Parshas Re'e, we learn about the laws about kosher animals. And the Torah tells us that in order for an animal to be kosher, two, it needs two, two qualifications. One is it has to have split hoof, and B, it has to chew its cut. And that is the laws for a kosher animal. But the Rebbe explains, what does that mean practically in our life? And Rebbe explains as follows. What is the idea spiritually why it has to have a split hoof? Because split hoof means it's split, it means you have a right and you have a left. In other words, many people have this tendency they're right-oriented or they're left-oriented. More chesed, more gvura, uh, more positive, more critical, etc. Comes along the Torah and Torah says like this, when it comes to your animal, if you're one way sided, whether it's right or left, positive or negative, that's not a kosher animal. A kosher animal is one that is right and left. That means if you naturally do something in a certain way, you have to work on doing things that you're not comfortable doing. In other words, if you only do the things that you're comfortable doing, that is not a kosher animal. A kosher animal is one that has to do things they're not comfortable doing. This way you're serving God from your right, which you're comfortable doing, but you're also serving God from your left that you're not comfortable doing. So that is sign number one. And sign number two is that you have to chew the cud, which means you have to keep on repeating it. Sometimes we do things, okay, I'm done, I did it. And I filled my obligation. But the Torah says, no, no, no. You want to elevate your animal soul? You have to not only do it, but you have to keep on doing it. So the answer to the question, how can you elevate your animal soul to make sure that you do things to the right and to the left, means say things that you're comfortable doing and things that you're uncomfortable doing, and to keep on repeating the process until it becomes second nature. This week's Torah lesson is in memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated for the Torah that we're studying in their memory. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For more information on Chabad, please see our website.